budget. When, uh, when I was at the Day on the Hill last week, it's an annual event that the Mass Association of School Committee sponsors, I was reminded once again of how fortunate we are here in North Reading as we listen to the problems of school committees and other communities across the Commonwealth, we're richly blessed here. We have a board of selectmen that supports education. For several of the members, education is their top priority. For the board as a whole, they're very supportive. The finance committee is supportive of our needs. You, the community especially, have been supportive of education in North Reading for more years than I've been in town, and that's 23 years now in climbing. Um, that support goes back a long way. It is deep, it is sincere, and it has done wonders for the kids of this community. We have a wonderful staff. They're competent, they're dedicated, they love children, which is always the most important quality in any teacher or school administrator. This is a a wonderful place for education. We who serve on the school committee know that we are richly blessed, and our greatest blessing is you and your children. The only, the only dark cloud on that horizon is that there really just isn't enough money for the things that we want and should be doing. Um, we'd like to review all of that with you. That's why our budget this year is called Managing the Cost of Education Reform, because we're being asked to do quite a few things with limited financial resources. The school committee has enjoyed the support of other town bodies for some time now. The chairman and vice chairman of the Board of Selectmen, the Finance Committee, and the School Committee meet regularly with the Town Administrator and the Town's Finance Director, with the Superintendent of Schools and the Business Manager. We review the problems of the Town's financial situation, and to a person, everyone in that group has been very supportive of our needs and the difficulties of funding education reform. The first thing I'd like to do with you is review this year's budget, because we have to understand where we are right now before we can really look at the budget we're proposing for next year. Last April at town meeting, people looked at the budget as it was presented, and it included funding for 2.5% salary increases for all of our school personnel. But we had recently at that point arrived at an agreement to fund the teacher's contract, and that's a barometer for all of them, at 4% for this year. And people very reasonably asked, can you live within your budget and meet the requirements of that contract? And we looked at the pieces of the budget last April, and I told town meeting that if there were no surprises in other areas of the budget, that yes, we could and would meet that budget. Unfortunately, there have been lots of surprises along the way. The biggest surprise has been in the area of special education. Our costs this year are overrunning this year's special education budget by nearly $300,000. That is roughly 25% of what had been budgeted for special education needs. Now that is not the only problem area. It's the first one we mentioned because it's the largest in dollars, but it is not the largest in percentage. It's about a 25% overrun. The next area, Utility costs. You all know you're paying electric bills, you're paying oil bills, you're paying for gasoline. You know what's happened this year. The utility costs are way above what we had projected when we put the budget together. And remember, that budget gets put together originally in November of the previous year. So 
The budget for this year was put together a year and a half ago. The other major surprise is in the area of long-term substitutes, where we are, again, way over our budget because of an extraordinary number of long-term illnesses and maternity leaves that have really hit us hard. In the area of collective bargaining, funding the differential, the, the difference between the 2.5% that we had budgeted and the 4%, costing about $175,000. What did we get for that money? The teachers union actually was very, very gracious. They gave us more than we could afford to give them. We added 15 minutes to the school day. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's better than 6% of the time that teachers were in the classroom. What we agreed to do was 4% this year, 3.5% next year, and 3% the year after, and that includes cost of living. We could not possibly have given the teachers as much as the 6% on top of cost of living. But the teachers didn't expect that. They met us more than halfway, and we, are, we continue to be grateful. The collaborative bargaining process was one of the most positive experiences I've ever been involved with. The other thing we want to point out, the fiscal 90, the fiscal 2000 budget is understated because of these surprises in the budget. When, we, when you start to carry forward the $175,000 that we had budgeted, that we had awarded in contracts, and you start to build a new budget from there, you realize that you have to add not only that extra 1.5%, but this year's increase as well. So while we think of the increase of 6.9% in this year's budget, we're basing it on an adjusted number. Um, just stay parenthetically as you go along. The salaries still remain almost 80% of our budget. In September, well, not in September, I don't remember exactly when. When we first noticed that, the 200, that we were going to be short in special ed, and that was around September. We brought the problem before the Finance Committee and the Board of Selectmen. The state had given additional Chapter 70 funding to North Reading of nearly $308,000. And the Finance Committee and the Board of Selectmen have agreed to support our request to town meeting. This will be a special town meeting at the beginning of the regular in April. And we'll be requesting a supplement of $285,000 to help us with this year's unexpected expenses. So when we look at our budget and we speak of a 6.9% increase, we're already factoring that 285,000 in to create a new budget base of almost $14 million. 6.9% is not a huge increase. Not when you consider that our salary increases are 3.5% across the board. That's 80% of our budget, so that's, you can do the arithmetic, but it's 2.8% on the overall budget. We're facing an enrollment growth of another 4%, and there's been inflationary pressures. Utility cost increases. The utility cost deficit, when you look at all of the things affected, electricity, heat, transportation, <coughs> $75,000. Long-term substitutes, seven of these illnesses that have cost us about $62,000 this year. And the almost $300,000 in the special education overrun. We are managing to cope with these things because Dr. Troughton and Carl Nelson have had to refuse almost every purchase order that's come into the central office. Items as small as replacement cartridges for printers are being rejected if there's another printer that people can use. This has been an extremely difficult year to manage, and things are not getting better in next year's budget. 
they will get marginally better in some areas, but in other areas they will be worse. We have asked the business manager to put together a budget 